Hi everyone, my name's Lucy and you're watching The Fine Art Auction and today we're with Craig Knight and we're gonna be talking all about his artistic career to date and how he's becoming one of the biggest names in the contemporary market today. I found when I was very young that I was good at drawing. I don't want to sound big-headed, but I was capable of drawing anything I saw. So I went to college. I then worked in a design studio for a while. I then did uh, a degree in art, which I really enjoyed. Um, and then later on in life, I thought uh, I'll become a teacher. I think when I when I sort of realised I was teaching, and that was, it took up every, all my time, literally all my time and energies. You then think, right, I want to be painting and drawing again. I'm, I'm not doing enough. So I started and immediately I sort of got some canvas together and thought, right, go. As I sort of looked at the canvas and thought, ooh, what shall I do? And I became a bit like, you get a sort of writer's block. You've given yourself such a huge mammoth task of I'm going to right the world's wrongs in a painting type thing. And so I then thought, don't. Doodle, have some fun. Remember why that you enjoy art. So I got some paper out and I just started drawing things, you know, and I'd put images together and I now realise that they would create their own meaning. If I put this against this, I'd start to think about it and go, oh, I've done a wedding ring and then I've done a human face and then I've done a cartoon. And I just started building them together and then I started colouring them and I was having a great time. Yeah, I think the first part of how, how a piece emerges, uh, as you, I've said before, it grows organically. So there is the sort of like practical, technical elements of finding an image to fill the right space and the right colours. And then colour can have meaning, an emotional meaning for me, and then an image can have a narrative, and then of course it has another narrative because it's next to something, because it's obviously the painting's being read. So you're reading all of the objects together, and it depends on what, what order you read them in. And to appreciate art, you have I do believe you have to have a context for what you're looking at, because a lot of time the the image or, or the object, whatever it is you're looking at, has got a context and it's about a dialogue. So for example, Carl Andre's bricks, you have to understand that he was trying to get what he was trying to get at. If, you, if you're not privy to that, what the dialogue is, then you don't understand, you don't appreciate because you, you're not part of that conversation. Without a doubt, my canvases are a reflection of me. They are literally autobiographical. They have things that concern me and worry me and I can and then they just they come alive they almost have a life of their own almost like they're painting themselves I paint and draw because I have to paint and draw it's part of my makeup that what I am and what I do and whether somebody looks at it and whether somebody appreciates it irrelevant <laughs> 